Let's go. We have a super rare. Let's see what we get and where we're gonna shape this. My grandpa's deck has no bad cards, Kaiba. Yuki. Kill that son of a bitch. This dweller. Who thought that day was gonna come? Oh! We take those! We take those! Welcome back guys to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Progression Series. Now, going off where we left off from the previous episode, today we're going to be opening a box of Metal Raiders. Hopefully, we get to upgrade our deck. However, I have seen some of your comments. I myself was thinking the same thing to kind of speed up the process or make our deck somewhat more viable. Now, if we lose three games in a row, we get a master pack as well for the opening of the next episode. So this episode, we'll be opening a box of Metal Raiders, a one pack of Master Duel's master pack. Now, without further ado, and the luck that we get from Grandpa's shop in the background, let's open some packs. All right, first pack of the Metal Raiders box. Let's see what we get. I'm excited. And in this deck, we finally get some effect cards that we can use instead of those boring vanillas. First pack, let's see what we get. Empress charge, block attack, that's the same as block defense. Harpy Lady, okay, Tremendous Fire. Queen's Double, this monster may attack your opponent's life points directly, 350 attack. That's already more than the amount of damage we dealt in the previous game. Queen's Double, okay. The Cheerful Coffin, Leo Gun, and Dark Elf. 2,000 attack monster, 4 star, requires 1,000 life points. It can come in handy, it can come in handy. Next pack, Cheerful Coffin, 7 Colored Fish. We really needed this. It's a good 4 star beat stick. There's a few more like this, but 7 Colored Fish is one of the ones that we're looking for if we're just going to go high attack. Another Equip card, the Dark Clown. Robin Goblin, a new Trap card. That's pretty good as well. Heavy Storm, there we go. That's going to be a very good staple for our deck, even in the further episodes. That's a great opening. Seven Colored Fish and Heavy Storm. We're also looking for Jurai Gumo. I think Jurai Gumo was in this deck as well. Dragon Piper, Tremendous Fire. Jirai, speak of the devil and he should grant, I think. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not a satanist. No. I would like a set of those. Would keep things fun as well. The Bistro Butcher again. I think that's the second one. A Thunder Dragon and a Sangan. We got a Float and we also got Thunder Dragon. If we could get three of these, maybe, you know, we could start playing Thunder Dragons. What'd that tongue do though? Another Seven Colored Fish. That's our second of the set. Not that great. Prevent Rat. Uh, this is a 2000 defense wall as well. That's pretty good. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest for the Musician King. I mean, 1750 for Fusion Summon when we have Seven Colored Fish. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. Share the pain. Okay, this might come in handy as well. The Dark Clown, Skull Knight, and White Magical Hat. Ooh, our second Thunder Dragon. Baby Dragon. Maybe if we get Time Wizard, it might work. The D Knight. Mercury Box. What does it require? Cross Clown and Dream Clown. Okay, we haven't got any other clowns yet. Cheerful Confidence, Share the Pain again. That's our second. Princess of Suguri. Inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each spell and trap card on your opponent's side of the field. If we manage to flip, we have a way of inflicting more than a thousand damage possibly, which will be our record for this series right now. I think we kind of check like how much damage can we do in each episode until we start winning. Another baby dragon, paralyzing potion, lava and moth. Oh, we're going weevil now. Another king of ghosts and a Hoshiningen. Another lava, oh, shield and sword. Yes, this is a good card, but we only have one super rare so far. We're kind of lacking in that department. This is a card that can change the tide of battle as well. And that's our set of Thunder Dragons. But we do need... Oh, another Jirai Gumo. That's good. Um, but we do need Polymerization. And Great Moth as well. There we go. We're kind of going into Weevil as well. Solemn Judgment. Let's go. Yes, this card is so good. Pulling a Solemn Judgment is going to help us throughout the whole of this series, most probably. Let's see, let's see, let's see. A set of seven colored fish. That's amazing. And Sangha of the Thunder. If we can somehow summon Sangha, maybe might be able to make it work in this deck. Let's see. Another Great Moth. Tribute to the Doom is also a very good pull. Discard one card that target one monster on the field and destroy it. Definitely getting added into our deck as a staple. There we go. Now all we need is a polymerization. Do we give ourselves a polymerization? I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see if we add a polymerization into our deck or not because that's an important card. If we don't have it, we don't have it. If we do, we do, we continue. Okay, so we got the set for the Thunder Dragon. Another, a barrel dragon as well. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, toss a coin three times and destroy it. A barrel dragon is going to go into this deck somehow. 
maybe if we can make it work but that's a good pull as well the last pack of the day before the master pack let's see if we get anything good the cocoon we could go into weevil we didn't we didn't get petite moth did we well we'll see if we could play off maybe a weevil deck speaking of petite moth there we go we got petite moth now i was just thinking did we get it did we not and that's dark elf okay these are our pulls for today so barrel dragon and solemn judgment are ultra rare then we have two very good staples heavy storm and tribute to the doom as super rare cards these are gonna be in our deck no matter what our rare cards are looking like this great moth is a bit yeah our sangan might be used for floaters our shield and sword and princess of suguri we'll see what we can make with all the other cards and we still have to open a master pack on Yu-Gi-Oh, and we'll see how we can work around this and the cards that we get from the master pack these are just our common seven colored fish a set of seven colored fish is very good jirai gumo only two not a set but that's absolutely fine we have a set of thunder dragons but no polymerization we still have to think and see if we can get polymerization from a previous pack now let's get back into a master duel and open a master pack and see what we get from there all right welcome back guys now we're in master duel it's time to open our master pack because we lost three games in a row in the last episode for every three losses we're going to open a master pack in the next episode as well to kind of speed things up and make our deck more viable let's open our first master pack of the series and hope for an ultra rare something that could boost our deck let's go we have a super rare let's see what we get and where we're going to shape this we'll keep the super rare for the last opening and we'll start from the left dark world brainwashing i guess this needs dark world this ain't gonna help us much because we need dark world archetype for that no idea what this does this is a ritual we need a ritual card for that we need gishki ritual spell cards that's not gonna help paladin of the dark dragon another ritual card we've got two ritual cards we need a dark dragon ritual to actually summon this and even if we do his attack is very low rush warrior Mm, rush warriors effect is more on the synchro side we have no synchros in our deck right now so it's a looking a little iffy still vision hero poisoner vision hero poisoner is good if we have hero cards it's in the hero archetype and now morphtronic cord equipped only to a morphtronic monster move on and virtual world gate king long yep this is only for virtual worlds as well you can having these cards in the binder for now might actually help us later on when we start opening like hero packs we might be able to use the hero poisoner we're gonna keep a track of these and now finally for our super rare card hopefully it's a staple hopefully we could use it in our deck let's see give us something good please rainbow bridge of the heart this card requires crystal beast monsters we don't have any of that so we don't really have any cards here that we could actually use in our deck right now it is what it is we move on we build a deck from the cards that we pulled today see if we could upgrade our deck a bit more and i'll see you at the deck profile and we're back with the deck profile so this is what our deck's looking like right now this is how i managed to get the deck to work we have a set of seven colored fish we still have skull redbird for the first episode reasons and plus it was like the highest attack that i could get from all of these cards two blue wing crowns we got a flame cerberus for a tribute at 2100 attack three walls still mystical elf aquamador and the giant soldier of stone we kept the hane hanes in we got one sangan for a float princess of suguri just to inflict 500 points of damage so we actually beat the record of last episode jurai gumo at two because they were the only two that we pulled bistro butcher at two we got dark elf at three it requires 1000 life points but i feel like this card at four stars 2000 attack can be a make or break for the deck we also have one witch of the black forest now for boss monsters we took out dark magician and we have added sangha of the thunder and also barrel dragon both at level seven requiring two tributes the same as dark magician but both have effects both have more attack so we went with that now for spell cards we kept raigeki in we have two tremendous fires to inflict damage to our opponent we added a shield and sword to switch the defense and attack of our opponent's monsters while all face up monsters on the field fisher is in there tribute to the doom is in there discard one card and target one monster on the field and destroy it so we have three block attacks we put share the pain in there tribute one monster make your opponent tribute one monster as well we've added heavy storm this is probably going to be in our deck for a while solemn judgment as well robin goblin and two pronged attack now let's take this deck online and here we go this is our first duel for the metal raiders second episode of progression series on master duel i'm really excited to actually play progression series online even though we get wrecked oh that's a nice board 
Alright, let's see what we get. Tribute to the Doom, block attack, and we go second as well. We got a free search, but this we have a 2,000 attack level 4 monster if we need it. Every time he attacks, it decreases 1,000 life points, so we need to make sure it's cost effective. We are counting disconnects and uh, scoops to the wins. So far, we're 0 and 3. Tribute to the Doom is good. We could tribute like Blue Wing Crown if we need to, to get rid of one of his monsters. Block attack to switch it to defense position. And Scrap Raptor, let's see, we're playing, he's playing Scrap Raptor, which is a scrap deck. I've never seen it before, but let's see how this goes. Okay, he's gonna go into a tuna with the scrap. Um, is he gonna go for a four XCs or a synchro? Probably a synchro. My grandpa's deck has no bad cards, Kaiba. Yugi. Kill that son of a bitch. This dweller, okay, 1,700. You could touch your opponent can activate any card effects in their graveyard this turn. That's fine. Banish one dinosaur monster from your hand. Oh shit, he's specially summoning. What are you special summoning? I don't like it. Overtakes Courtless. What the fuck is that? What is that abomination? Oh god. Okay, let's see. You know what? You know what we can do? I don't even need this. Let's play Tribute to the Doomed. Let's Tribute our Aquamador. And destroy his Overtakes Courtless. I don't know if you can stop it. Does he have a dinosaur in his hand? Or is he going to get rid of his own card? Yeah, he got rid of his own card. There we go. Well, it worked. I mean... It worked. You know, it was. I was going to do the same thing. And he just ended up doing it for me. But he got another evolution pill, which is a problem. Um, now we go with... Blue Wing Crown... Use block attack, change its attack to 1,400 and just attack. I mean, that's what we're going to go with. He's probably very confused as to what's going on. And I don't know what his effects are, but... Yep, go into defense position, please. Thank you. And then battle phase. We still have Dark Elf in our hand. So, you know, that's always good. And we've destroyed that as well. Now he has two cards. One is the evolution pill for the dinosaur thing, which I think brings back that beast of a monster. I don't know if he could still play it, but let's see. He only has three cards in hand. We have two. I don't know what that set card is, but hopefully he bricks. No? Okay, he just gets a 1,800 monster and effects, activates his effect. Petit Taranadon. Okay, he banished his boss monsters. To summon another one? Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. How am I gonna kill that? I need a Raigeki. Once per turn you could destroy one monster in hand of field and if you do change all face up monsters. A Xenos Meteorus. A biggest dickus. So many effects and I'm just here like, um, uh, hello? Okay, he gets rid of the last card in his hand to summon. Another 2600. Am I dead? I mean, 3,000, what's this, 2,000 is 5,500, and then he had another card. I don't think he needed to do this. I'm alive now. Mm, he has a negate on the field now. Okay, this is looking like a loss. Uh, shite. We still alive? We're still alive. End phase. Draw phase. I draw tremendous fire. I mean, we go out with the bang, don't we? Because clearly, that's not going to help. Let's try to trap him into a negate. If this card... You know what? We're sending it. We're going to go with Dark Elf first. We're going to try and activate his effect so we don't take any damage. And in main phase two, I'm going to activate tremendous fire. And hopefully we break the record of dealing more damage than we've ever dealt so far. I want to attack. Okay. That's 200 damage. I think we're tied with the first episode. I'm not sure. And then we're going to play this. Maybe. Is he going to let us? If he lets us, that's a record. It's not going to do much. Just let it, man. Just let it happen. There we go. <laughs> yes, let's go. We saw the 6,000s in episode 2. 
All right. This ain't looking good, though. But maybe, you know, maybe we get more damage in. You never know. You never know. So we're going to stay. We're going to stick around. The middle, does it? The, mid, the, the middle board looks like green toast, bro. Yep. And there we go. We are dead. But that's 6,800 is a record for the second episode. That's our first defeat this episode. Sensei Blitz. Well, nice to meet you. I am Kai Sensei. Let's see what we get this time. Jurai Gumo, maybe? I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd rather pay 1,000. Oh, we did get Jurai Gumo. This sounds not looking too bad. We have Tribute to the Doomed. The Bistro Bacha. I mean, this is a free pot of greed for them. I would rather not play it, but it is what it is. It's 1,800 for four stars. So we had to include it in the deck. Uh, what is he playing? It's Pendulums. Purple Poison Magician. Supreme King Dragon. And now... I've ordered food, so I'm just checking in on myself. And now just summon everything onto the field. Okay. And he makes... The Xyz Time Star Magician. Uh, Jiragumo isn't going to help me. But I don't know if these pendulum effects actually do anything. Battles before damage calculation. You could do some stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, I have no idea what his pendulums do. Why are we getting the disconnects? What the hell? Okay, so how do we play this? We got another Flame Cerberus. Jirai Gumo is only 2,200. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. Kadu's Tribute to the Doom. Get rid of your Magician. And then we attack with Jirai Gumo. But that's half my life points gone. Oh, wait. No, we toss a coin. Okay, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of one of the Flame Cerberuses. So let's discard Flame Cerberus. And destroy his magician. Hopefully, I didn't have to read more than I had to. Because pendulum cards have a lot of text. And hopefully, we just get to destroy his time star magician. Oh, come on. What's this, Will? You take no battle damage? That's fine, I guess. While you control a monster. Now, the thing is, do we play Jirai Gumo? Or do we just go with the butcher? Fuck it. We ball. Let's go. Gambling is never good, but... It is what it is. Let's go. Tails never fails. Come on. Boom. Let's go. Let's go, Jurai Gumo. I'll laugh if he's like, activate effect. You cannot destroy my cart. I destroy your cart. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. Um, Nagate, abort, 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 abort. Oh, never mind. He could just do that instead. Fuck. Oh, well. The hype didn't last too long. We end phase. Uh, sure. Oh, and he has another one. Great. And more pendulum summons. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. He gave it to me? No, wait. That's his. I don't like your deck. Your cards have too much text. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, look at the picture. Wow, who's, good? who's reading all of this? Like, Yu-Gi-Oh, you need to fix some of your shit, man. If anyone wants to come into Yu-Gi-Oh, this is what they want to see. Just known to many as the burning executioner. This monster is capable of burning enemies to cinders. Or when this card inflicts bow damage to your opponent's life points, your opponent draws two cards. Not this fucking shit. And I'm sorry, but who plays pendulums? Are we dead? Sensei Blitz, you disappoint me in your choice of decks, my guy. There we go, Supreme King. We're getting... 2,500 plus 4,000. And we only have 1,500 life points left. Great. Probably if I do get like something like Raigeki or something, it's not going to do anything. Like all these cards with all this text. One of them probably does say, if this happens, it doesn't happen anymore. Supreme King Gate Zero. He has a full field block attack. Great. It doesn't matter because he has 4,000, 4,000. Oh, Disconnect, 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 disconnect. Please, 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 please. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. It's, it's GG. He has too many cards. Let's get, let's destroy a card at least. Let's destroy this card. If he lets me, that is. Oh, there we go. Well, we got rid of one of his cards. It is what it is. Okay, stop. Look, listen. I destroyed that card for a reason. You're bringing it back. But it be like that. It feels shit losing, obviously. There we go. We couldn't even damage this guy this turn. 
but that's our second defeat. And now time for our third game of the series of episode two. We haven't had much luck so far, and let's see how it goes. We've got Dark Elf, two-pronged attack. Giant Soldier of Stone is good, but we didn't get any of the spell cards that's actually going to help us in our duel today. Toon World, okay. We might be able to play against the Toon World. This I don't understand. He uses that card to get that card to get that card again. And now new oh new moron. Oh. Okay, put an equip card to it. Oh, he's gonna equip another one. Cause I know the new moron deck goes to like absurd. What? What's going on? Oh, wait. Why did he use his equip? Oh, oh, okay, that's why. 2800. Can we beat it? Absolutely not right now. It's looking like another triple. Another hat trick. Each player must pay 500 life points per card to normal summon, special summon. Ah, shite. Oh, he's, he's got a Shri Striker engage as well. What is he doing? Chicken game. The player with the lowest LP takes no damage. Oh, we're actually going to get a record because he's going to do it to himself. Okay. <laughs> when your deck is so bad that your opponent reduces your life point, reduces their life points for you. Uh, the only problem is he has low def uh, low life points now. So, oh, he's gotten rid of chicken to play, what, pseudo space. Do we count this as a record? He's done it to himself. He's on 5,000 life points. Okay, so now that's chicken game. He's on 4,000 now. Oh, he's reusing the... Oh, we get to send two cards from our hand and draw two. Okay. Thank you. Hey, what if he kills himself? Like, imagine he kills himself. We're going to get rid of this and the Bistro Butcher because I don't need him actually. Oh, block attack, but he has a link card. That doesn't help. Can you keep going? Keep going so like you kill yourself and maybe we win. He's down to 3,000. He discarded two. Okay, he's down to 1,000 now. Yeah. Look at us decreasing our opponent's life points to 1,000 with this deck. Who would have thought that day was going to come? Who thought that day was going to come? Oh. We take those. We take those. We take those every single day of the week. That's our first victory. And we did nothing. He reduced his life points from 8,000 to 1,000. And then he scooped. He was, he was just too intimidated. He saw the flame Cerberus in the graveyard. And he was like, oh, shit. It wasn't even a flame Cerberus, was it? It was the... Bacha Bistro. It was like, how am I going to even beat him? And then he was just like, fuck it. I must surrender. He just looked in my eyes and was like, damn, he's cooking, man. He's cooking. That's our first victory in this series. Now, the thing is, if we lost this, we were still going to get a master pack. So we need to rethink of the rules because it makes the third game pointless. Because if I lost this, I was going to get a master pack. If I win, I get a master pack. We won. So we we get the master pack. But I guess we'll, we'll keep that in mind. But we got a guaranteed master pack now since we won. I'll, I'll still modify the rules as we go along just to make it easier to like stay up to date against these modern players. But yeah, there we go. We got our first win and we'll be opening a master pack along with the third set that was released in Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is Spell Ruler. Okay, so next episode we open a box of Spell Rulers and a master pack. And maybe an additional master pack depending on how we decide to set the rules. Leave your suggestions down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, thank you for watching. Much appreciated. That was it for today's episode. Kai logging out. Peace.